back to my channel so today I've got a Goodwill haul for you I feel like I'm searching for things that don't make any sense but today I was like you know what I'm kind of like in between jean sizes right now where I'm losing the weight and I was like I really don't want to go out and buy a whole bunch of new jeans not knowing how much my weight might fluctuate here and there for the meantime so I kind of like to try out a few pairs and see what size I'm at right now and then just you know buy nicer pairs later on but these i found some good stuff in this goodwill trip and i can't wait to show you guys so if you want to join me and teddy bear today in our goodwill haul then just keep on watching so today i will start with clothes and i'll show you guys the stuff i got for me and then i'll show you the stuff that i got for my ebay um i kind of try to tend to buy the same things for myself that i would for the ebay thing just so if it's something i would buy then it's probably something that's going to sell. You know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I got a American Eagle sweater in medium. This thing is so soft and it's really good quality. There's no snags or tears or anything in it and super nice. So pick that up for me. I like kind of the basics. I guess Teddy Bear has left the premises. He's tired of the Goodwill haul already. <laughs> I got this, um, let's see, Ralph Lauren Sport t-shirt in black and it's got the little logo right there and it's a v-neck i like basic tees i don't like getting stuff that has a lot of patterns and stuff to it it makes it so easy what well, you know at, for me anyway like minimalism wardrobe like to go in and find a black or white t-shirt nice pair of jeans good pair of shoes and then like accessorize with a bunch of different like scarves and jackets and um you know jewelry different stuff like that your handbag i'd rather do stuff like that than have a bunch of different colored t-shirts and then i only ended up finding one pair of jeans for myself that fit me i, I looked for two i was really wanting a pair of like black uh skinny like ripped jeans because i have a look in mind that i want to wear when we go to see uh, like Joe Rogan, Theo Vaughn, like date night comedy show kind of outfit. I have an idea in mind and I thought I found them and then when I got home and tried them on they didn't fit so I'm gonna have to return them. But they were really cute. They were a pair of like skinny Jessica Simpson jeans. But yeah, so I got these jeans for when I'm like in between sizes right now. And this, these are really nice actually. These are American Eagle jeans and this is the pocket. They're the skinny jean. And with the skinny jeans, like in the fall, winter time, I'll tuck these like in boots. And in the summertime, I like to roll up the ankles and wear them with flip flops. So they're kind of like capris. But yeah, these are the skinny ones. And yeah, they fit me perfect. They fit like a glove. They're not too tight and they're not like too loose. They fit perfect in my waist. So yeah, really nice pair of jeans. And like I said, they're really good quality. So no, no snags no stretching no weird things going on they're perfect so super excited to find these all right now here is the clothes i'm going to be putting up on my ebay they're very similar to those clothes except they may be different sizes or in some of these cases this is a guy's t-shirt i kind of wanted jake to keep this but i don't think he's going to he's off to the side he ain't, he ain't gonna keep it <laughs> or pay me any attention but yeah so this is a guy it's very soft actually it's very soft very loose and it's like a v-neck navy blue one it's really nice has the logo on the front and then got this plaid one i thought this was a girl shirt at first but then when i tried it on the collar is way too high on it for it to be a girl shirt so this is definitely a guy's uh small american eagle shirt super nice and very good quality like i said it's super super soft and there's no weird snags no nothing loose on it it's perfect so yeah another good find okay i'm gonna make it quick when we go through the jeans that i'm gonna sell it's just gonna be super quick uh got a pair of skinny hollister jeans they're like a light wash and then uh jake found this pair this is an old navy these actually do fit me but i was like the butt on it kind of makes my butt look flat so i was like no nah, but not about that flat butt life so got the they have like ripped ankles they're kind of cute so yeah i got those and i was hoping these were gonna fit but they did not fit so i will be selling these uh these are like the original hollister um i think these are considered what are these the flare laguna skinny so they're kind of tight in the thighs they fit everywhere else but the the thighs are really tight and i have pretty big thighs your girl's got some big thighs and these do not stretch so 
somebody else will get to love and use these and they got like rips and the logo and stuff pretty cute okay and then i also got these boots to put up on my ebay they are size eight uh, I wear a size 9 so they wouldn't work for me but they're they're really freaking cute and they've never been worn. They still have a brand new uh, price sticker on them and the inside of the shoe has like never been worn. There's nothing in there so yeah these are super nice little boot shoes. So those will be cute for somebody else. And then I found a cute Disney Tinkerbell mug and it's like purple on the inside. And then on the bottom, you can tell it's licensed by, somebody bought this in the Disney store. Oh, it's really, really cute. Got a little Hello Kitty, a Christmas Hello Kitty, and she's holding a gingerbread. Isn't that freaking adorable? Got that. Found the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, all on cassette, audiobook, all six tapes. I don't know if anybody gets cassettes anymore, but these look too cool to pass up. So maybe somebody out there who likes vintage Harry Potter uh, audiobooks may be interested in this, so pick that up. Um, I love Disney, you guys know I do, and I love Harry Potter and all that kind of stuff. I got this uh, special edition Frozen book. I'm going to put this up to list it. looks pretty cute. It has pictures on the inside. I loved books like this growing up, so maybe somebody else will too. And then I found this really old poultry and seafood cookbook. I almost thought about uh, trying out a few of these recipes before I get rid of it, but we'll see. But yeah, it's got a bunch in here. And these old, like old school fashion uh, cookbooks, they have some good recipes most of the time. Like you can find some good stuff in these. So if you find these in, in your Goodwills and stuff, grab you want to try something in it because they can come up with some good stuff in there. And then this one's kind of sad <laughs> to me, honestly. It kind of makes me feel bad that somebody got rid of this, but this was somebody's wedding memories book. And um, I don't know. I keep going back and forth on if I want to keep it or not because I just think it's cool. Like, I mean, it seems kind of blah, like an old album, but when you actually look in here, it has this couple's like legit everything. It has her like pictures she pulled out of her uh, newsletter in here. It has um, pictures of her with her family and the wedding gift she got. I think they said they got married in Florida. On when did they get married? It was in here. February 18th of 1968. And they're so cute. They're the little couple. They have all kinds of their little memorabilia type stuff in here though, with like their family and uh there's them at their on their wedding day. Let's see. This is more of their family and like newsletter. Here's their invitations. And they got all kinds of little notes and like pieces of cloth and stuff from her thing. Here they are together. I love this picture. I think this is so cute. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's the two of them together. Don't they look so happy? I just thought that was so sad that somebody would get rid of that. You know, it's just pretty cute. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I love vintagey things, and I don't know. I keep going back and forth. I may get rid of this one, but, uh... I don't know, hopefully it'll go to somebody who's like me that likes to keep stuff like this that's really cool but you can see like where they stayed at they took pictures of the places they stayed in they got their families in here really cool book just to like look through I am mean, a weirdo but I think that stuff's really really neat so uh, another thing to go along with the vintagey thing this is a this the rest of the stuff is what I'll be keeping I think I've got the naughty 90s and i don't know if me and jake were trying to figure out if they meant the 1890s because this is definitely not 1990s but uh i've got some tape on my lap let me get that out of the way um this book is hilarious it's a saucy pop-up book for adults only so children chill your eyes but it has like merry christmas 85 somebody gave this to someone and what what is so hilarious about this is it's got like naughty things and it is so cute look at this like the women they pull their dresses back and they've got those like stockings on with the little <laughs> me and jake have been looking through this and just laughing like how cute this is uh he's like playing with her foot under the table it's hilarious this this one is my favorite one he's like it looks like he's smacking her butt when she's walking past him i don't know i think this is so cute and uh yeah there's a bunch more in here but cute book definitely going to be keeping this i thought this was too cool to get rid of so i really like this one 
Okay, then next I found this book on sketching and drawing the first step series. And I figured this would help me in my sketching. Maybe because it kind of goes into detail and explains why you do things, why you shape things the way that you do, and how you can start something with just like a circle and then expand on that. So I thought this one would be pretty cool. And I like the way that they've done it. Like the way they've done the book where it's like has notes out beside it of each step and they look like handwritten notes. It's a pretty cool looking book. So I'm hoping this will help me with my sketching and uh, give me a few more ideas. So that was a cool book. All right, then the last thing we've got here is some old records. I told Jake I would only try to keep two of the Disney ones, but we'll see. I'll try. Because I found so many cool Disney records. We almost passed a few up. Jake looked through a pile, and then he, I went back through them again, and we, I found so many more. I was like, oh, my God, they have Disney records. I love old records. You guys know I do. I have um, a record player, and then I have a gramophone. And I don't play these on my gramophone. I play these on just my record player that I actually got off Amazon, even though it looks vintage -y. So, yeah, I'll show you guys what I got. This is Sleeping Beauty Ballet. I can't wait to listen to this. I love listening to this type of stuff, like old records and like cleaning the house or reading a book or just chilling. Like, it, yeah, you can't beat it. You really can't. And then I found Winnie the Pooh, Walt Disney Winnie the Pooh. And what's cool about this one is it actually has a book on the inside of it. So when we first found it, we found just the pages laying loose away from the thing and Jake was like that's a book I was like no that's got to be part of the record too and it ended up being that it was so yeah it's pretty cool they got the little story in here also to go with it and then we have Walt Disney's A Small World 18 favorite folk songs so I'm going to actually listen through all these and see which ones I like the best and then I might get rid of uh, the rest of them so we got Mickey Mouse Disco it looks like it's got the main titles, but just like a disco version. Isn't that so cute? Like, if you love Disney, I, I just think it's awesome. And then I found this one first. This was the first one I found that made me want to go through the rest of them and see what I could find. But it's Disneyland's story and songs about the three little pigs. And it doesn't have a sleeve. It's on its own. So, yeah, there's that. And then the last two I picked up are just vintage -y ones that... I may or may get rid of I don't know we'll see uh, but I just like the cover art of it and the names of it look neat so I like this lady with the looks like she's hanging on to a gate and it looks real vintagey looking I thought it looked really pretty and it's called Door of Dreams Joe Reisman and his orchestra Door of Dreams yep so we've got that one then the last thing well it's not the last thing the last item I'm gonna show you in this pile I'll show you my ultimate find at Goodwill last so stay tuned, it's almost coming, it's coming. So the last one I found, this looks like Audrey Hepburn on the front, so that's why I picked this one up. And I don't know, 101 Strings, The Sound of Henry. I'm gonna assume this is Mancini. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's got, oh, it's got the Pink Panther theme, Moon River, Days of Wine and Roses theme from Peter Gunn, Deer Heart, Charade, Baby Elephant Walk, Dreamsville theme for Mr. Lucky. Oh, so it's got the Pink Panther on the bottom. That's what that is. Not sure. I'm assuming they'll probably be part of one of these songs too, but I'm not sure what that is. Is that Marilyn Monroe? I could be wrong. I don't know. That might be Marilyn Monroe. But yeah, and then there's the back of it. So that is everything that I picked up. And now I'm going to show you the one last item that I think is absolutely wicked and I'm so glad we picked it up. So we'll go ahead and just pick you guys up right now from where we're at. Oh, look at it! Yep, that's right. We picked up a giant freaking palm tree. Can you see it? It goes all the way to our ceiling. Isn't that wicked? Me and Jake have been wanting like uh, something to put in that corner in the summertime because in the wintertime we put a Christmas tree. So I was wanting to find something that I could put up for most of the year until we switch it out with a Christmas tree. So yeah, we found a great big palm tree.
for my Goodwill haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't count Goodwill out if you've never been Goodwill shopping. I don't know if your Goodwill will have stuff like this, but definitely give it a try and see if you might find you something cool. Just think in your mind, like, what? go looking for something, but then expect the unexpected because you may find something that you weren't necessarily going to be looking for at a Goodwill, and then it just happens to be there. So, yeah, go in with, like, okay, I want to go look for these two things and just see what you find. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this Goodwill haul, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for much for watching, guys. Bye. Get right. You're right. Just like that feel of fight. That's why you're right.